What's up there YCC and fellow YouTubers? Today we're going to be doing a haul video. Yeah! Some of you already know because of my posts on Facebook. But um, I've, I've, I've received really two... Well, I've received an amazing uh, comic this week. And just something that's like amazing. Yeah! Um... <coughs> Uh, yeah, it's, it's just epic. I'm well impressed. Um, and one of the items I will be doing a review on, and um, a comparison video. Yeah, I'm good thinking, haven't I? I'll just whack straight into it anyway and show you what I've got this week. Okay, first off is my uh, variant edition of the Superior Spider Man number 31. Um, I, I haven't. I may pick up the um, standard first print version of this as well because they should have it put by in um, Forbidden Planet. But I've got this one, such an amazing read. Um, and out of all the variants that I looked at, there was two that I wanted. All variants. And this is one of them. And the other one's on its way, hopefully. Um, but this one I was so impressed. I um, can't remember the company now. But. Um, it's, <coughs> sorry, for the first time on eBay, I pre-ordered this, and this actually arrived Wednesday, so I was really impressed with the company. Um, again, I can't remember who they were, but a thumbs up to the guys. Um, but yeah, I'm waiting for my uh, mid-10 comic variant as well. i a lot of spending this week. Oh my god! Yes. Um, <coughs> I've been looking at this ever since um, was it San Diego Comic Con 2013 last year when they'd done the, the 24 karat gold one. Gutted this isn't that. Um, and I think if I would have gone to San Diego Comic Con I would have paid the same amount as what I paid for this. Um, now I could have got this cheaper so uh, Stephen McKee put a post on um, the YCC do you think you've ever paid for something and he said most um, most people say they haven't ever paid for something I have ever paid for this however yeah, however um, you can't get it in the UK at the moment And, you know, will will it come to the UK, won't it? Um, and this is what happened with my last Legacy Morpher. Um, I was just too... I wasn't too impatient because I, I knew... I didn't think that was going to release in the UK because it said, you know, USA only. Um, and I, 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 I paid probably the same amount, actually, for it. I, I paid 65 for this, I think. Was it 65? Something like that, yeah. In Toys R Us, they were selling... Um, the first wave or, or the original Morpher um, for £50 so you know it's only £15 extra um, and it's not guaranteed it's going to be released over here so yeah I, I saw it on eBay, eBay the cheapest I've seen this go for um, I, I just took a chance I was like I'm going to buy it it was a buy it now job um, and like I said, I've been after it for ages. There's one thing I'm not happy about, which I'll do in my review, but the actual thing looks amazing. As You, you can't see it because I've taken it out and I've played with it. Um, but yeah, there's one thing I'm not happy about, which I'll, I'll do in the video, um, which I'll probably do like in a minute. But yeah. Oh my God. Okay, we're uh, on to comment time now. Um, and this is from uh, Adam's YCC Hall number 24. We've um, got 38 views on it and 5 thumbs up. Another bit of news. I was over 200 subscribers. I then went down to 195. And now I'm back to 200 subscribers. So thank you so much. I don't know what happened there, but I'm, I'm back. Yeah. Uh, so again, thank you so much, guys. Um, I will... Uh, I have got something planned 
Um, I didn't do it last time I reached the 200 because it had already been done. Um, but this time I want to do it my way and put my own spin on it. <clears throat> so we have uh, four comments. I'm, I'm so glad you comment on every video, dude. Um, because I said I wanted you to um, hear my thoughts on the Morpher. Um, and um, it, like I say, it's Stephen McKee and what he put on the YTC about overpaying and, and stuff like that. Um, and then, you know, yeah, I have ever paid for it, but I was willing to pay that. Um, so, yeah, Stephen, McK Stephen McKee, you need more Spider Man, mate. Got more on the way, my friend. Um, Addy Starkey, think you should do a video of all the coolness behind you. I'm getting distracted by all recognised Star Trek ships. Um, yeah, if you want it, dude, I, I can do it. Um, Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do a video of that. Um, probably do it sometime next week. Um, but yeah, there's there's a bit of coolness behind me here as well. You know, or or oh we all that up there. So, um, but yeah, I'll do that for you. Um, I don't think I'm gonna get my pair ranger section completed for a, a good while now. One because a dragon sword hasn't been released yet in America um, and I haven't got my Dragon Dagger yet next month yeah uh, Comics R Us <laughs> so you plumped for the Charlie Sheen cover on Ultimate Spidey number 200 yeah um, I haven't read it yet I'm, I'm realised the day I've got one comic to read to complete the Cataclysm um, and I haven't got it, so I've actually ordered that on eBay. Um, but yeah, you know, it's Peter Parker's the first Ultimate, isn't he? The first Ultimate Spider-Man. Uh, <clears throat> if I can get the Miles variant as well, that'd be awesome. Um, but I'm kind of hoping they put that to one side in Forbidden Planet. If not, I just have to put the uh, the Peter variant back. Um, they're not pick it up, but they might have some in there. I I sort of bought it on eBay because it was selling out quite quick and now there's, there's like loads on eBay so I kind of wish I'd have waited um, for my Forbidden Planet trip but you know there we go oh 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 um, Robotech 00 is Spidey worth getting in trades or in singles and how is the Hobbit um, Um, I mean, if you do it in trade in singles, you you I don't think you'll ever complete the series, dude. Um, if you're gonna do it from Peter's story onwards, because there's uh, quite a few comics. Um, I mean, the trades read fine. Um, obviously, they miss a couple of issues because um, they don't. They, it's just like key stories. Um, but then they also have different ones like um, 16.1s and um, I know one of the trades in the Ultimate series wasn't an Ultimate Spider-Man um, book, it was Ultimate Avengers, or Ultimate, the Ultimate, sorry. Um, it was all about the Sinister Six, but because it was hugely tied into Spider-Man, um, they'd done a trade of it. Um, so yeah, I'm... Uh, I'd say I, I say this to quite a few people. If you don't want to collect all the trades or all the singles, a good jumping point, jumping on point is um, the death of Peter Parker. Um, I think there was two trades. Yeah, two trades of um, the death of Peter Parker. Because I mean, obviously, everyone knows the the storyline of Peter Parker. Um, and it's you know, if you was disappointed with ASM seven hundred. This will not let you down, guys. It's it was such a brilliant read, and someone asked me the other day if I got if I ever got got teary over a game. I was trying to think. I was thinking, I'm sure there is, but it wasn't. It was that trade. Um, such a brilliant ending, um, and like I say, you all know enough of Peter's history from watching the TV show or or. Um, uh, comics, Amazing Spider-Man comics, all you know, 
to appreciate the ending of Peter's life in the Ultimate Universe. And then obviously you jump onto Mars's um, story, which you know it's it's a Spider-Man's origin, it's a Spider-Man's beginning. Um, so yeah, if I, I I recommend picking up the death of Spider-Man um, and then Mars's story. You could go the whole hog and do what I've done and get the whole twenty plus trades. I think. Um, for Peter's life, it might even be more than that. But yeah, it's 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 a brilliant. I I prefer Ultimate Spider-Man to like Amazing Spider-Man or Superior Spider-Man. I think it's because it that's what started my I want to say hobby, but addiction to comics. Um, but now it was Mark. But you know that's what started the flare going. Um, yeah, really, really love the Ultimate series. Um, as for your your next question, this is going to be like a two second answer. And how is the Hobbit? I've watched it. <laughs> I've bought it, uh, but I haven't watched it yet. There's like DVDs I haven't watched that I bought, but I wanted to get them because it was fairly cheap at the time. Um, over here, well, it might be the same in the US, dude. But in the UK, I, I was. Sometimes you know when Iron Man three was released, they do like a first week deal where it's like thirteen pound on Blu-ray, um, and then the week after it'll shoot up to like twenty pound, just under twenty pound. Um, I saw The Hobbit for thirteen pound on Blu-ray, so I picked it up there and then. It's a long film. Um, I got nothing to do Tuesday apart from wait for someone to come round, so I would probably watch it Tuesday. Um, but yeah, looking forward to, to watching it. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, that's that's all I've got to say today. It's been a, a long one, thanks to the comments, but that's good. Um, and as I say, I, I will be doing a review on my Morpha. Um, and a comparison of all three. <coughs> yeah, yeah, because there's, there's things that are different with uh, Tommy's Legacy Morpha to um, my other Legacy Morpha but not Joshua's it's it's weird um, yeah I should have done that first really me because me, there's whoever's got the Legacy Morpha Tommy's and the others um, please comment in the, the section below because there are questions I want to ask um, and I really hope it is genuine there's just like, um, like a th two things or one thing in particular that makes me think, ooh, you know, is it, is it genuine? But, yeah, I mean, it looks genuine. They did say that the box was going to be tatty, but I just, I'm going to throw this in the bin, I just wanted it for the morpho. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, thumbs up if you like the video, thumbs down if you don't, comment, subscribe, and all that's left to say is, thwip it. Live long and prosper. Turtle power. It's morphin time. A nanu nanu.